We are, these are the students that are going to be moving into the new foyer, or already moved in. The school starts really tomorrow, it's Sunday morning. And they just popped around this morning to say thank you, because they appreciate the accommodation. And here comes the, there's ten of them, here's the, one more, there's one missing. Okay, here we are at the foyer. This is the kitchen area, You're just cooking the open there, it's protected from the rain. This is the kitchen, an outside kitchen, in there it's a storeroom. They have a lady that prepares two meals a day for them, and each student has to bring every month about £1.30. Uh, that's for the sauce, and they bring maize, which is ground up to make the, the toe that they eat uh, each day. There's a lady who works here. I just thought I'd show you her, her fire here. Uh, oh, he's going to show us how he drinks from there. Very nice. Merci, Bruno. This is her fire where she cooks the food. The food of the African person is very bad. Why? Yes. It's very bad. Yes. Some students in front of the main. Uh, lounge and there's a couple of bedrooms off and at the right at the end there is uh, a one room with a bedroom with a shower interior shower and the lounge area so you could have a, a couple living in there here we are coming into the main lounge see three nice big windows we've got a blackboard at each side and then off each side we've got two dormitory rooms so I'll take you in. They have about four or five lads in this room. You see that they just have a few clothes hanging up. And that's the gnats they sleep on the hard concrete floor. We couldn't cope with that. Got a couple of nails in the wall to hang things. And there we go, they're school books on the ground. Maybe we can get some little bedside tables for them later on. I've just walked across the lounge to the other dormitory, the other room here. As I say, there's about four or five in each room at the moment. There's nine or 10 students, but uh, you could have about seven in here, I think. Seven in each side. And I'll span around, turn around and you can see again, this is the lounge. And with the other dormitory room the other side. Here we are looking at the back of the foyer I've just taken you through. You can see there's a shower coming across now. <clears throat> you can see the f shower in the background and this is the smaller foyer that we built last year with two small rooms about four students in each here are the girls there were eight there are now four of them but Priska the little the pastor's daughter on the right is not one of them so these are the girls and this is their dormitory we'll see inside their room this is coming into the girls room as I say there's four of them in here bit nice uh, organized and they again just sleep on the hard concrete floor on a mat and this larger room is their lounge but could be used for Sunday school this is a bigger room that we were going to use for um, it's used basically for Sunday school you can see there's actually literacy classes that are going on every day and this is Sunday afternoon they've got a church meeting going on Merci. C'est bon que tu sais lire. Hein? <laughs> it's a little lending library. I'll just show you the book. Not many books there. But... Boys like to come and read. And others like to come and play badminton and the guitar. Oh, here's some more. All the rackets are falling to pieces, but they still have fun. Oh, look, we've got five people playing now. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> so I just thought to show you that quiet Sunday evening. <laughs> Badminton game going. 
And quietly over here we have guitar playing. It's a very typical evening outside our house, I have to say. <laughs> My name is Bartolomeda. I come from Tutobo. I do form four. I thank everybody to England because I'm very happy for the construction of this fire. I wish a happy new year 2007 for the case of England. May God bless you. I want one person to become my friend. Thank you. Thank you. They're going to sing a song uh, thanks to you for helping them with their foyer, with their dormitory. <laughs>